depth of field, chromatic aberration, bloom, they're all things we need to use in our renders to make them look more realistic. But there's one more key ingredient that is sometimes neglected, and that's noise. By adding noise to our images, we can break the perfect nature of 3D graphics and make them feel like they were taken with a real camera. Adding noise is really easy to do in post, and in this video, I would like to show you a way to add it in a more procedural way. Photoshop has two ways to do that, so let's go through both of them. The second method, however, is the more flexible one. But let's start with the first one, which uh, most people are familiar with, and that's through the camera raw filter. To keep things uh, procedural, we'll first need to convert the layer to a smart object. Once we have that, we go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and then in the Effects section we have a Grain area, where we can adjust the amount of grain, the grain size, and the roughness. And uh, since the filter is applied to our smart object, we can easily go back and make adjustments as needed. That's all nice and good, but if we have a lot more layers, using this approach is not ideal. We'll have to merge all the layers into a new one, make that a smart object, and then apply the noise filter there. But that's not the best way to do things, since we'll have to repeat all these steps in case we make a change to the layers underneath. Thankfully, we have a better way to approach this, and that's by having the noise on its own layer. By setting this layer to overlay mode, we can effectively apply the noise to all the layers beneath it. So let's see how we can do that. Let's create a new layer, rename it to Noise, and now before applying the noise filter, we'll need some sort of content there. We cannot apply the filter on an empty layer. So let's add a color. Here's a quick refresher on how overlay mode works. A black layer in overlay mode will make everything darker and vice versa, a white layer will make everything brighter. We don't want to influence the brightness of the image at all, so for our needs, the sweet spot is going to be a mid-gray value. Mid-gray values will essentially disappear in overlay, which is exactly what we need, because now, when we apply the noise filter, the only thing we will see is going to be the actual noise. Pure white is 255 and black is 0, so the mid-gray value is 127.5, but since we can only use round numbers, we can either use 127 or 128. Whichever one you use is fine. I went with 127, but 128 will give you the exact same results. Now let's convert the layer to a smart object, and if we switch to overlay mode, the image looks unchanged. Perfect. Let's now apply the noise filter. I usually go with uh, monochromatic noise, and the amount used depends on the resolution of the image, so I cannot give you one specific value, just experiment with it and find the amount of noise that suits your image. Because we applied the filter on smart object, if we now change our minds, we can easily go back and adjust the result. That's the beauty of having a procedural setup like this one. So next time you want to add noise to your image, try adding it this way, it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. And that's it! If you'd like me to show you how I add other effects like depth of field, bloom and chromatic aberration in post, let me know and I can make another video for that in the future. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.